background is on my phone. It makes me happy every time I see it. But happy Monday. It's about 8.20 this morning. So I've been out for the last hour just like relaxing this morning. I did a little bit of reading. And now I'm going to go do a Pilates workout just because I need to stretch. <laughs> like my body is so sore. I don't know what came over me yesterday. But I ended up going for a three mile run. I was like, I'm just going to go for a 30 minute run. See what I can do. So I was on the treadmill and I just put on some YouTube. Before I knew it, I was knocking out three miles without stopping. So I was really proud of myself. Obviously, it wasn't like the fastest run I've ever done, but I'm trying to get into running this year because I really want to run a 5K and I think that would be a fun accomplishment. So that's what I did yesterday. And I was like, dang, like I did not expect myself to just knock that out like that, like a piece of cake. So that was a proud moment, but I'm just going to do at 12, 3, 30 to warm up on the treadmill and then a Sammy Clark form Pilates workout. I love her app. It's like anytime I work out in my apartment gym and I just don't really know what I want to do where I'm not doing a strength training day and I just want to do like a no equipment full body workout. Her workouts are so, so, so tough. Honestly, very humbling like every single time. So I think today I'll do like a no weight Pilates workout and probably just more so focused on the stretching aspect of it all. But I figured I'd bring you guys through a productive Monday in my life because it's kind of gloomy out today and I really structure my Monday so that I get lots of work done throughout the day and incorporate like my daily habits and all of that. So I thought it'd be fun. It's been a while since I've done like a productive Monday in my life vlog. So I'll bring you guys throughout the day. We're going to start off the morning with a little movement and get my workout in. my Pilates workout. Like I said, never underestimate a Pilates workout, especially on the form app. They are so good, but I'm making my greens. I'm going to drink these up before I get started cooking breakfast. I've been having these greens from that way. They're the super fiber and greens. Love these. I'll be sure to link them on my Amazon storefront for you guys. They also sell them at some Publix, Sprouts, Walmart, and Target locations. So I love to have these in the morning because fiber is so great for your gut health and just regulating any indigestion, bloating, or gas, or any uncomfortable symptoms related to gut health you guys know I preach to the choir about gut health and that's why I love to have these greens is because it has that fiber infused within it so right away in the morning I'm getting my fiber and my greens fiber is also crucial if you're on a weight loss journey because it's going to help keep you fuller for longer fiber is just one of those crucial nutrients that I like to make sure I'm getting within my diet so I love having this powder daily also it is vegan gluten-free paleo and keto friendly organic and all natural there's no sugar and there is five grams of fiber in here so I like to just throw this in my water have it in the morning before making breakfast and everything but I love it I would definitely recommend it checking it out again I'll link it down below on my Amazon storefront for you guys or if you want to check out their website they have like a bunch of different fiber options they have like a fiber and fruit a fiber and greens like what I have right here and then also a fiber and protein so you can really get it all in one right there and then I have a code so you guys can get 25% off with the code Snyder25 so definitely be sure to check that out again I'll link it down below for you guys I'm going to finish up this before I get to make my breakfast breakfast this morning and I've been having my greens instead of having coffee first thing because I heard that coffee it really can just mess up your gut health and your hormones and everything having caffeine on an empty stomach so I've been making like a latte or having my cold brew a little bit later in the afternoon so this has been holding me over and it's what I look forward to in the morning instead of my coffee like first things first lately I've been on a big kick of having protein pancakes in the morning and they're so good and simple to make so I wanted to share the recipe with you guys I'm big on having um, like a high protein meal to kick off your day so maybe that could be a yogurt parfait high protein smoothie or my protein oats which you guys know I love but I'm definitely more of like a sweeter tooth type person in the morning but definitely starting your day off with protein is huge so for these protein pancakes all you need are some oats a banana an egg protein powder of choice I'm just using this Trevani plant-based protein vanilla flavor so good and then water so I'll kind of just eyeball the water honestly until I get that perfect consistency for a batter and I blend everything up in the blender and then cook it over the stove top and it takes like maybe 10 to 15 minutes so so good.
Look at how yummy these are. Literally the perfect pancake texture too. They're so fluffy on the inside. So good. I know they look a little bit overdone on the outside, but the inside is what matters and they taste so yummy. Lately, I've been in the habit of like fully doing my hair and makeup for the day, even if I'm just staying in my home and not really leaving at all. But it makes me feel good too. It just feel a little more put together, especially on days like today where I'm vlogging. So I just touched up my hair using the Shark. I wanted to give you guys an update because I started using it probably like two weeks ago and I absolutely love it. It is the best thing I've done for my hair and it just leaves it so beautifully blown out and leaves my hair so soft after I shower. So I'll use it immediately after I shower. I'll like blow dry it and then blow dry it out with the brush. Then throughout the week, I'll just like touch it up with the curling attachments or the blow dry brush tool. And I just love, love, love it. It has made styling my hair like so much fun for me and just it's the best. So definitely check it out if you guys have been thinking about getting it. I'll leave the one that I use links down below. But I just threw on this set from Skims. I got this a few days ago. Obsessed. I've been wearing it nonstop recently. I showed it in an unboxing haul and ever since that day I cannot take it off it's so soft I love this color also I've never tried their joggers and I really, really like them I love how long they are too so if you do have longer legs and you're a taller gal these are perfect because for some odd reason like Aritzia joggers are so short on me I always have to order everything in a size tall anytime I'm buying a pair of pants from Aritzia but I love these skims joggers and they're just like that perfect oversized fit so cozy and then this is the matching pullover which is so cute so I can link this entire set down below I know they have a bubblegum pink color right now and it's taking everything in me to not order it it's just so stinking cute but i love this set we're gonna get some work done but i figured i would show you guys how i typically plan my weeks as well as do my daily plan because a lot of you actually wanted to see the content for planning and like what it looks like for me and honestly i never used to do any planning like on iCal or google cal or anything but i was watching i think it was a tiktok or a vlog or something the other day about someone using notion and i was like i need to start using notion i feel like it'll help me out so much so for my weekly planning i do all of my planning on notion and then also I started doing a weekly meal planner just because I used to be in the bad habit I kind of still am of like going to the grocery store if I just need one ingredient and then that one ingredient turns into a whole grocery shop of things that I just genuinely didn't need so I'm trying to cut back on doing that because that's also gonna help me save so much money and also it's just nice to help me be more creative with the different meals that I have because I just take inventory on Sunday of what I have in my fridge and then I'll just come up with like a mock plan for the week of different meals that I can make I pull a lot of ideas from Pinterest interest and then see if I have like the ingredients in my fridge and that's usually how I grocery shop is I'll go into the grocery store with a list of knowing things that I want I do my grocery shopping on Sundays you guys know so then when Monday rolls around I have this weekly meal planner of a different fresh foods that I can make for dinners and breakfasts and stuff and then what else was I gonna say oh I like to do ingredient prepping so I'll show you guys how I do that a little bit later essentially just instead of meal prepping because as I said I never know what I'm gonna crave when I wake up the next morning or what I'm craving for dinner later that day so I like to to ingredient prep just cutting my fruits and cutting my veggies and stuff and marinating any proteins that I'll have for the week because one thing that does stay consistent is protein like I usually have like one or two proteins that I base my meals around for the week and this week it is salmon and tofu so I like to have all that marinated and ready to go and then I just have my like simple weekly to-do list right here this is so helpful because it has all my different tasks for the week in terms of their priority so we've got high priority medium priority and then low priority low priority tasks are things that can be done towards the end of the week or things that I could even push off until the following week but it's nice to just have this weekly to-do list because I can see everything with the bird's eye view I've got my calendar right under here and it keeps things so well organized for me I'm a very visual person as you guys know I like to have all of like my goals and my habits and that habit tracker that I shared a few vlogs ago and then this really helps me stay on track with different content that needs to be up that week or needs to be edited and filmed and all of that and like sent over for brand approval a lot goes into it but I just wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like it really does help me me stay so well organized and it's not too tricky but it's enough for me to stay productive and content with everything that I have going on because I cannot keep everything in my head I have to see it either laid out in paper or on the laptop and everything and then my planner is super helpful with just like day-to-day -day things it has the habits the priorities and the to-do list for the day and then also a schedule I don't really use this side much because I don't really have like too strict of a schedule this planner is from dream daily I love it I think it's so cute and then yeah I just use notion to do all of my planning on my laptop for the week and everything and it's so seamless I love it of course gotta finish up dinner with a little sweet treat they really did something there because this is so good
quite a bit later. I just wrapped up editing the YouTube video, which took a couple of hours. I did take a break in between to have some lunch and everything, but now we're back to it. I made myself a nice latte for a nice midday pick-me-up before I record this week's podcast. The episode's going to be all about different things I'm going to do to intentionally live more of like a slower lifestyle and just embody like that soft girl era because that's what I'm all about this year. So definitely be sure to tune into this week's episode. I'll be sure to link it down below for you guys. But usually it takes me around like an hour to two hours to record an episode and then I like to edit it right after. This will be the last bit of work for the day. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Insider 20s Podcast with me, Lauren Snyder. Today's episode is going to be all about entering our soft girl era. I keep saying how this is the year that I'm going to prioritize rest and just not running myself on E at the end of every single day and being such a workaholic. The evening time is my favorite. I just feel like I've closed out my day. I'm heading into my night routine and finally just relaxing and unwinding for the day. It's also glamorized on social media. There's always something new, always that next best thing, but we're not in high school anymore. We're not in elementary school anymore. Nobody really cares about who has the newest iPhone, who has the coolest new pair of Savags. I literally have not moved from this position for like the last three hours. My tailbone is like going numb at this point, but I'm almost done editing the podcast. Honestly, you wouldn't think, but editing the podcast definitely takes a minute because I'll take a couple breaks in between because I get like short of breath since I'm just talking to myself for 45 minutes to an hour all the time. But yeah, I'm almost wrapped up with that. And then I just got a video approved so i got distracted and started working on the thumbnail for that because i want that to go live tonight which would be ideal and then i always watch the video over again and i'll make any notes about things that i'm wearing or if i mentioned any links so then i'll add those to the i can't speak can you tell <laughs> the description box for the video so you guys can always shop the links and everything but yeah my eyes are like getting so heavy because i've just been staring at my screen all day i'll sometimes wear my blue light glasses but honestly they just having something on my face always annoys me especially if i'm wearing like my headphones so i try to wear them but yeah i'm just gonna go for a walk tonight but honestly i'm having like very low energy now <laughs> and i still have to do some ingredient prep and then make dinner so We'll do all that once I finish this up. Oh, I have a package. I have a couple packages. I did order some things on Amazon, so I wanna see what got here. I just opened my Amazon package that I wanted to show you guys because for the longest time, I've been wanting a hatch alarm clock that's been on my wish list for a while now. But I was like, it's $200 and then you pay for the monthly subscription. I don't really need it. I would absolutely love it, but I did find a similar thing on Amazon. So I read a bunch of reviews. I think this has like, honestly, 30,000 reviews and a very high rating it has like 4.8 stars so it seems trusty i'll link it down below for you guys but i'm excited to try this out because it's a sunrise alarm clock and it looks so similar to the hatch obviously it's not as aesthetic but moving past that this was 30 bucks so that's all i care about and it does a very similar thing you can have the light dimmer on here you can have sounds to fall asleep to at night which is what i would really want this for because right now i just use like white noise on my spotify so i'll just have that on my bedside table and i really don't want to sleep with my phone next to me at night i used to be in the good habit of having it like on my dresser so it'd be across from me when i go to bed but i want to make an effort to keep that on the other side of my room have this so that i can fall asleep to sound at night and then also wake up to like a sunrise simulation and just have more of like a relaxing way to wake up in the morning and so that i can wake up earlier because i'm trying to wake up around like 5 30 to 6 30 a.m right now i'm pretty regimented with waking up at like 7 to 7 15 without an alarm so Having this will help me just get my morning started earlier in the day, which is what I really want to prioritize and just like going to bed later or going to bed earlier and having the red light on with this too. Cause I'm big on having like the vibe set in my room for my night routine. So I'll always put like the red light on with my lamp and then read before I head to bed. So this will definitely be a big game changer and I'm excited to try it out. I'll have to keep you guys updated. I think I need to put batteries in it tonight. Oh. I came with batteries perfect so we'll set her up tonight and then i guess i'll see you tomorrow which i'm not vlogging tomorrow so i'll have to keep you guys updated in another vlog how it works but i'm looking forward to it because this will definitely be crucial for a good early morning The 
before I get to cooking dinner, I'm gonna do a little ingredient prep. This is a very baby version of it, but I have some tofu and tempeh that I'm gonna cook this week. So basically all of my meals are surrounding these two different proteins. So I'll just like chop them all up and then marinate them, stick them into a glass containers to put into the fridge, cut up some broccoli, fresh carrots, put some spring mix into one of these containers. And then I always like to store like Brussels sprouts or broccoli in this container as well. It really helps to have like nice containers like this just organized in your fridge so you can neatly see everything and just have all of your ingredients prepped and ready to go. I just get these containers off of Amazon and I love them. So I can link them down below for you guys. But yeah, that is all I'm gonna do. So very quick and easy. Time for the best for the night. We're gonna do my skincare. I'm gonna take off my makeup, get a little overnight mask on, and then get ready for bed. I'm so tired. I just set up the alarm clock and I wanted to show you guys because this is literally identical to the hatch. So I'm gonna turn down the noise right now. I just have it on like white fan noise, but there's like 16 different sounds you can do it to fall asleep to at night. And then in the morning, obviously you can set it to like the alarm sound that you wanna wake up to. So down here, it says that like the red light and everything is gonna shut off within the next hour, which is nice. So it just automatically shuts off. And then my alarm is set for 6.30 in the morning, but about 15 minutes before I wake up, it's going to do the like sunlight stimulation thing which is so neat i don't really know how i'm gonna make it look on my nightstand i guess this is just the situation for now i don't love the cord back there but we'll figure it out i'm just so excited to use this and incorporate it into my night routine and into my morning so it's so much nicer to have this to fall asleep to and like the red light just automatically shutting off while i'm heading to bed instead of having to shut my lamp off every single night so i love that but all that to say i'm going to read for a little bit before i head to bed this is the current book that I've been reading. So good. If you guys watched one of my recent vlogs, I went to Barnes and Noble and got a few books and I've been flying through this one. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to do that and wrap up the night. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.